Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of the Conservative Party of Canada, I would like to express our heartfelt condolences and deepest sympathies to the families and friends of all those who have lost their lives in a senseless attack over the weekend in Nova Scotia. Mes pensées et mes prières et celles de toute l'opposition officielle accompagnent leurs familles et leurs proches. Constable Heidi Stevenson, a 23-year veteran of the RCMP, a mother of two and a loving wife, killed in the line of duty. Aaron Tuck, Jolene Oliver, and Emily Tuck, a family of three. Heather O'Brien, a licensed practical nurse. Kristen Beaton, a continuing care assistant. Lisa McCulley, a teacher at DeBert Elementary School. Sean McLeod, a corrections officer at Spring Hill Institution. Alana Jenkins, a corrections officer at the Nova Institution for Women. Tom Bagley, a neighbor who reportedly died trying to help just a few of the Canadians killed during this most atrocious shooting in Canadian history. Mes pensées, mon cœur et mes prières accompagnent les proches de ceux qui ont perdu la vie lors de cette attaque innommable. I would also like to wish a speedy recovery to Constable Chad Morrison, who was injured. What has unfolded is incomprehensible. Nova Scotians, and indeed all Canadians, have not only lost incredible members of their communities, but they have lost a sense of security. Face au crime immoral et vis, nous nous demandons naturellement pourquoi. Comment cela a-t-il pu se produire? Pourquoi est-ce arrivé? This tragedy is a painful reminder of the risk that all of our first responders take to keep Canadians safe. As they put on their uniforms and brave the unknown, Canadians rest easy knowing that they are protected in their communities. Tous les jours, nos courageux agents d'application de la loi mettent leur vie en danger et leur famille emporte le fardeau. J'aimerais prendre un moment pour remercier tous les premiers intervenants qui traitent cette situation difficile avec professionnalisme et je pense à ceux qui ont perdu des collègues. But every single day, our brave law enforcement officers put their lives on the line and their families bear that burden. So I would like to take a moment to thank all of them who are professionally dealing with this difficult situation and to send my thoughts to those who have lost a trusted colleague and to thank them for putting their lives on the line in service for all of us. To all Nova Scotians reeling from this attack, please know that your nation stands with you in this moment of darkness. Our hearts are with you and we will be here to support you in the difficult days, weeks and months ahead. Even though we cannot gather in person during these difficult times, know that you are never alone. It's a wonderful truth that Nova Scotians are great storytellers. I know this will not only be a story of great loss, but a story of love and strength. Canadians are known for their resilience, for their love of country, of family, and of community. Reposons-nous sur cette communauté maintenant et au cours des semaines à venir pour célébrer les belles vies perdues et nous donner la force d'aller de l'avant. Let us rely on that community now and in the weeks ahead to celebrate the beautiful lives lost and give each other much-needed strength to carry on. Let us honour the memory of those lost by sharing their stories and remembering their names. Thank you.